What's up guys, this is Ashish Tiwai here and you are watching Technotips ASP.NET MVC Tutorials. So this is part 56 of this video series and part 3rd for repository pattern. Here I am going to explain you about what is dependency injection, what are the benefit of it and how to use it. So after completing of this tutorial, you will feel like that this is very easy concept. So let's get it started. So what is dependency injection? I have a simple definition for you. Dependency injection is a software design pattern that help us to develop loosely coupled code. So what does it mean loosely coupled? Let's take a real life example. This boy and this girl got married so they become tightly coupled because they have dependency on each other. Alright, so after using dependency injection they get divorced and become loosely coupled so the benefit of getting loosely coupled is that they don't have the dependency on each other all right in real life this might not be a good solution but in software design architecture this is very good concept like one component should not be dependent on the other component all right so if your system get loosely coupled then we will have you know three benefits your code will be reusable your code will be maintainable and you will have the greater testability means one component can be easily testable independently all right so these three are the benefit of using dependency injection all right so you might have seen this diagram in a previous tutorial so we have web layer business layer data access layer and the domain layer so out of them the most three important layers are web business and the data access all right so let's suppose we have a project and we have 15 members to work on that project and we have assigned five members to work on web layer five to work on business and five to work on data access layer so the developers working on the web layer would like to work independently on this layer they don't like to depend on the business or on the data access layer similarly the developers working on the business layer would like to work independently on this layer all right so you might be thinking how these layer dependent on the each other like uh, the web layer is dependent on the business layer and the business layer is dependent on the data access layer so let's suppose in the business layer we have a class and that consists of some method so to access those method into web layer first we need to create the instance of that class with the new keyword and once we create an object of that class into web layer both layer will be tightly coupled so by using dependency injection we can decouple both layer I'll just give you a practical example for this so let's move on the next slide so what are the ways to implement dependency injection so here we have three ways constructor injection property or setter injection or the method injection so the most common way is to use the constructor injection okay so generally we have the dependency on the object so we inject that object into the constructor parameter all right so let's move to the visual studio so here in the previous tutorial we were getting data from the business layer by creating the instance of that class here you can see employ business class let's move to the business layer and let's check out the I employ business interface here we have defined two methods get employee name get all employee and here you can see this class implementing I employ business and here you can see the actual implementation of those method okay so here employee business class is also called as the concrete classes okay so I'll just create a constructor of this controller like say public this and here and I'll just create 
this object globally so that other other method can also use it now just define it uh, use underscore employ business here and copy and delete this and inside this just pass it so this thing will also work all right so i business here you can use i business and i business okay so now here if you notice that we have created an instance of you know employee business so we have the dependency on this object why how it can be possible so in the business let's do some changes at this class and let's create a constructor in that class I'm just making a change little change let's make it public and I have created a constructor here and I have passed let's say int integer i okay and let's say in the web layer I am getting an error so I can surely say you that that this layer is dependent on the business layer okay so this is uh, this is how we are forced to use the dependency injection so that our developers working on the web layer should not be dependent on the other layers okay so what we do we will inject that object into constructor parameter okay let's say equal to let's copy that equal to copy that and this now you can see the error has gone and we can still access all method see employee dot get all employee name and get employee name okay so we have we can access all method defines in that interface and if we it doesn't matter what change we have done if we remove this also no impact will be put on this layer so as per the dependency injection concept if we have a dependency on any object then we can pass it as a parameter instead of creating its new instance using new keyword and that is what we have done here alright so you might be thinking that my problem got resolved without using any third party library like ninject structure mapper or unity.mvc5 so let me run this project and let's check out what kind of error that I still have in this code so here I have received no parameter less constructor defined for this object it means I cannot pass any parameter inside the constructor of a controller alright so for that reason I need to depend on the third party library like ninject unity5 or you know unity.mvc5 or a structure mapper all right so in this tutorial I'll use unity.mvc5 plugin so click on your web project and then reference right click here uh, first of all stop this project right click here and then manage NuGet package and search for unity.mvc5 I already installed this plugin so just close it out and once you complete the installation you can see the reference has been added to your project like unity.mvc5 and apart from this you can have one more file here 
unityconfig.cs inside your app start folder so here you can see they have given an example also that container dot register type here you can pass your interface and your class your concrete class name I'll just give you an example how to use this file so first of all I need to call this uh, register component method which is a static method so it can be directly called by class name dot register component so I'll just call it into you know global exact file so here you can see unity config dot register component so once my application get started this register component will be triggered and you know this method will be called okay now let's run this project and now let's check what kind of error we have resolved so here you can see my problem has been resolved now by using unity.mvc5 okay now just to stop it so here you will notice that I have I am exposing my concrete class here that is not a good idea because as per OOP principle as per OOP principle we should depend on the abstraction not on the concrete classes okay so that is what we need to follow here so instead of exposing my concrete class I'll use this interface now if we run this project then we will get new error now let's check out what error that we can get here so here we got the current type MVC tutorial dot business dot interface I employ business is an interface and cannot be constructed here you can see this error so the interface cannot be passed as a parameter of the constructor alright so in order to resolve that we can use the this file unity.config alright now I stop it and just just copy this method copy and here for every interface and the concrete class you need to use this container dot register type just pass your interface name here now copy and the paste here and paste here so this is my concrete class and this is my interface so resolve it interface and resolve this employee business okay now this time we will not get any error so unity.mvc5 is very easy to use it so let's check out the output here the second problem has also been resolved all right so here we have successfully implemented dependency injection in our project using unity.mvc5 so this plugin going to give me several settings that we can do here in order to resolve any kind of dependency related problems all right now let's do some changes in our business layer class so this is my concrete class and I'm just creating a constructor here this time let's make it public and pass an integer in tie and yeah so obviously I'll not get any compile time error now run this and let's check out what kind of error that we can get at runtime 
so here we got the type integer 32 does not have an accessible constructor okay so somebody has changed the structure in the uh, business layer so obviously my uh, wave layer will be impacted so I, I don't need to change in my controller code instead of that I can provide a setting I can do some setting here and in order to resolve my problem alright so let's do a setting container dot register type and here we can pass a class this one and now new injection we can use the injection constructor injection constructor and go resolve using unity dot injection alright so here we can pass whatever the type we have you know so we can pass zero as a parameter now put a big point here and let's check out whether my problem has been resolved or not so here we are function f10 all right dependency resolve and continue so our problem has been solved now we have made some changes we have defined a constructor here so it it has not put any impact on my wave layer instead of that I just need to do a little setting here to resolve my dependency related problem okay so the unity dot mvc5 plugin has a lot of settings in order to resolve our dependency related problem all right so I hope you understood this concept and uh, uh, thank you very much for watching uh, this tutorial and I hope you guys love it if you like this video then give a thumbs up and have a great day do share this video among your friend and uh, help